I'm Ben Willett. I run acquisitions here at Bakerson. From there, I got you know a tease of what we were doing in the company. It was pretty funny because that house, Bruce flipped that house within four hours to another investor. That was my first taste of, of acquisitions. And then from that point on, I've just noticed how addicting real estate can be. There's so much opportunity out there. It seems like every day there's, there's more competition coming to the Phoenix market, but there's enough, it's a big playground. There's enough deals for us to all make a lot of money. The part that I think is addicting is seeing the transformation when we got out of wholesaling and into transforming communities, you know, taking a property that was the neighborhood eyesore and bringing it up to something where people are living in there. There's there's a vibrant community, there's the buzz, and there was, no joke, there was dog poop piled up into the corners. We went through four or five 40-yard dumpsters. I won't let you work directly for me because I don't want people in the company to think I hired you just because you're my son. Bakerson has flipped over 2,000 houses, um, wholesale flipped, and then we got into multifamily, and we've done, we've actually purchased 16 multifamily buildings, but before we started purchasing them, Bakerson was actually wholesaling apartments for a while. We noticed, Funny thing about wholesaling is we'd wholesale a deal and we'd notice what the, the next owner was able to do. They would take down the property, clean it all up, bring the rents up, and then they would sell it within two years. And we started seeing these spreads where we sold them at and where they sold them at. So, you know, if other people can do this, why can't we? Why would you want to buy a hundred thousand dollar house when you can buy multi-million dollar deals? If the numbers make sense, you can find the right partners to, to do the deal. There's, there's money in the streets that want to do deals. To buy deals, you know, two, three, four, five million dollar deals and, and up, you don't have to do it with just your own money. If you create either a syndication or strategic joint ventures, you can do more together than you can alone. We were deal junkies. Uh, we went down to South Phoenix, West Phoenix, and we tried to wholesale everything. I mean, we wholesaled houses, mobile homes, condos. Uh, we flipped a hotel, a, a mobile home park. So our theory was always, if you find a deal, there's either a buyer or money out there. But now we're starting to realize that, yes, we've taken down deals that way, but I believe we can scale faster if we find the right partners and then bring the deals to those partners. When we came from the, the wholesaling world back in you know, 2012, 2013, that was just a, such a feeding frenzy. There were so many deals out there and we we're getting in and out of them so fast. There wasn't really even time to, to do reports. You know, we, we would buy a deal and flip it within a month. Um, the report was, hey, we sold the deal. Here's your money plus your return. The deals that we've done have been between eight to 120 units. The smaller deals, we typically did either a one-person syndication or a one-person joint venture, where they would come in with all of the equity needed. Syndications is where we've done majority of our deals. So you set up in an LLC, you set up a syndication, always want to do that through an attorney. Every time you sell a deal, you have to replace it. So our goal now is to slowly get into the buy and hold model where we'll buy it and our goal is to hold it for a minimum of five years. The goal is to then refinance the property, get it cheap enough where we can refinance the property with good debt, get the investors majority, if not all of their original capital out, but still keep them in on the deal. And they, then they also benefit from the cash flow, but now they don't have that risk of having all their money in that deal. For a long time, we did 30 to 80 units. That was our sweet spot. We found a lot of good deals in that space. The challenge for that space is management. They're a little bit too big to have an offsite manager and they're a little bit too small to have full-time onsite manager and maintenance person. I actually had a conversation a few years ago with Todd Dexheimer. Um, he was starting to go out of state. The one thing that he said that he really learned about going out of state is you underwrite deals much better because so much more can go wrong when it's out of state and it's harder to get out there. You have to fly out to the property. And if we're in a ballpark range, I'll always make an offer. I figure the worst they can do is say no. So you always need to be flinging offers. A lot of these people or a majority of these people did not choose to be born in this status or to be born in these neighborhoods. And just because they don't make money to live in Scottsdale or North Phoenix or Tempe doesn't mean they're not good people. And I just remember him always telling me that, that you can't judge a person by their skin color or where they're born. And I think that really resonates through the company. He reminds us time and time again that we have to care about them because this is their home. There's a lot of good, great operators out there, but there are some out there that are so focused on the NOI that they tend to forget that these are people that are living in the apartments. Many people have asked, how do you work with your father? I could never do that. You know, it's taken us, like I said, I've been here seven years and it's taken us many, many years to, to, to figure that out. I think it was around year five, we finally started setting those ground rules of when we're at work, we're at work. When we're at home, we're home. Well, instead of us trying to always do everything ourselves, why don't we do partnerships with people that 
maybe better than us at certain aspects of the business. How many units do you want to own in the next 10 years? Our goal is to get up to 5,000 and then to 10,000. That the nice thing about having different people, different life perspectives is we will all watch out for each other's blind spots. There's money in the streets that want to do deals. 